All right, uh, good morning. We're here uh, this morning to give you an update on a homicide that occurred on May the 4th. But before I start that, let me uh, just tell you that I met with uh, the decedent's family. Uh, Mr. Arthur Brown was, in fact, uh, murdered at one of our establishments here in town. I met with the Brown family this morning, and it was striking to me that uh, how loving of a family they are and how much they respected their son. And from all accounts, Arthur was a real nice guy. He tried to do odd jobs. He's trying to build a business. He qualified for a CPL, which means he didn't have a record. And he'd help uh, anybody that asked for help from him. So that is who our victim is. I can tell you that on Tuesday, uh, May 4th, 2021, approximately 9 p.m., our officers responded to the area of Oakman in Michigan, the Pantheon Club on uh, subjects shot. Upon arrival, they found two people shot, one of which was Mr. Uh, Brown. Mr. Brown was given uh, first aid, conveyed to the hospital where he succumbed to the injuries. Currently, I can tell you that uh, we've identified a subject that uh, we're very confident was responsible for this act. Donta Orlando Cox. 31 years old. Mr. Cox has quite an extensive uh, criminal record. He's got numerous uh, aliases. However, we know that he's got some very distinctive tattoos that most of his friends know about. Has a street name of Tay. And I've already mentioned that he's got a horrible uh, record. Um, I can tell you we're not shy about asking for help. We've partnered up with our uh, U.S. Marshals and our regional partners as well, and you're going to hear from the U.S. Marshal of the Eastern District of Michigan very shortly. I can tell you that uh, at this time, starting, we had a $5,000 reward, uh, $2,500 given by 1-800 uh, Speakup Crime Stoppers, and $2,500 by the Marshals. And just walking in here, I was told that the owner of the Gentleman's Club has put up $20,000 of his own money. I can also tell you that the establishment has been very cooperative with all of our investigators to make sure we get the information we need. Um, I've said this before. I'm going to say it again. We do happen to live in a very violent society, but this kind of crime is uh, not going to be tolerated. And for uh, Mr. Cox, the world has gotten a whole lot smaller today because of his violent act. And with that, I'd like to introduce uh, our partner, U.S. Marshal Owen Seifer, uh, Eastern District of Michigan. Good morning. I'm Owen Seifer, U.S. Marshal for the Eastern District of Michigan. I'd like to thank Chief Adad and the Detroit or the Deborn uh, Police Department for inviting us out to help with this case. Um, I would just like to say that uh, our condolences to the family of the victim in this case. Um, we will extend, we will exhaust every resource available to us to find uh, this this suspect and bring him to justice. The city of Dearborn deserves justice, and the victims and the families deserve justice, and we will bring him in. Um, as, as the chief uh, mentioned, uh, the U.S. Marshals is offering a $2,500 reward along with the establishment, uh, I, as the chief mentioned, has uh, offered additional reward money. So we will stop at nothing to bring him to justice. And with that, uh, Chief, I'll turn it back over to you. I'd just like to say thank you again for, uh, for reaching out to us. And we're, we're very happy and excited to uh, help uh, bring this gentleman uh, to justice and bring this case to a closure. Thank you. In the event that I wasn't uh, clear enough before, we want to ask any citizen that knows the whereabouts of uh, Mr. Cox to call any one of the many sources, Dearborn Police, Crime Stoppers, or the U.S. Marshal's Office, and you'll be given all the respective numbers in the uh, press release. Are there any questions?
speak or say anything to the press? Do they want to make a plea that uh, this guy should turn himself in? You know, I didn't ask that question. Mr. Mo uh, Mr. Uh, Brown, is there anything that you wanted to say? or? Okay. I'm standing here before all of you in Detroit. You gotta stop saying I'm not gonna st snitch. I'm not gonna tell. You took someone from me that was very dear to my heart. That was my only son. And I stand here on his strength because I know he would be saying, Mama, get him. Dante, you know what you did. You not eating, you not sleeping. I'm barely eating and sleeping myself. Just surrender. Turn yourself in. You didn't have to take his life. Turn yourself in. I just want justice for my son. There's nothing else I can say. I just want justice for my son because you didn't have to take his life. Thank you. He worked in the area. Okay. Do you know if the victim was at the campground time? He was. Okay. Was it the a random shooting or what are the circumstances around it? It definitely was not a random act. Uh, they may have met each other at the club. Um, it wasn't a random act. He was not. Was he trying to get in the club? I don't know whether he was inside or outside. Um, he was not. Uh, he was not a worker at the club. It's kind of unusual for a business owner to put up on a reward. Uh, what do you think about this gesture? Well, I mean, the uh, the owner of the establishment has made it clear that uh, this kind of uh, Violence will never be tolerated. He's uh, very sorry for the loss of life, and he's proven to be benevolent in the past. So I just, uh, I'm not really surprised that he put it up. What is the owner's name? I'm not going to give that. A total of twenty-five thousand. Twenty thousand from the establishment, twenty-five hundred from the marshals, and twenty-five hundred from uh, Crime Stoppers. And again, not in a boastful way, but we have a great working relationship with the U.S. Marshals, and I'm very confident that uh, we're going to bring this case to a close. And as uh, Mr. Brown's mother had said, it would be best that if. Mr. Cox gives himself up. Thank you. Are you getting much support from the community? We, yeah, we always get support from the community, always. And uh, this is no different. Um, we're getting a reasonable amount of cooperation. Um, these kind of cases are always difficult to bring to a, a close, but we're committed to make that happen. Thank you.